Helping General Motors, neighbors say the automaker has been polluting their well water, causing serious health and environmental issues. The epicenter of the complaint is GM's proving grounds in Milford. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner live in the newsroom with what the company is saying about the claims. Jim. Stephen, General Motors in a statement says this lawsuit does not have merit, but the suit alleges fraud, negligence, that salt, sodium chloride caused serious health problems for the residents who live next door. I have renal stenosis, which is um, blockages to my kidney. And so I've had angioplasty and I take um, medicine every day for the rest of my life. She can't show us pictures of her kidneys, but she does show us pictures around her 2,800 square foot house with dying trees and other vegetation. She lives next door to the Milford Proving Grounds. She also produced a letter she says they got from General Motors in 2014 that states that salt from the Proving Grounds may have migrated onto her property. Her attorney says thousands of pounds of salt have been used to clear roads and for other uses over decades allowing it to leach into the groundwater where it is now contaminated in my client's drinking water. The company in a statement says GM does not believe this suit has merit. Salt deposits naturally occur in this area, and salt is also used on the many nearby public roads during winter. Nonetheless, acting as a good neighbor, salt usage at the Milford Proving Grounds has been reduced by 60% over the last two decades. And GM submits regular reports on the groundwater quality at the Milford Proving Ground to the Michigan Department of Environmental Quality. The lawsuit alleges fraud and negligence out at the Proving Grounds. We have documentation that shows that General Motors knew since at least 1985 that sodium chloride was a serious problem at the Milford Proving Grounds. But this case is far from over. Speaking with my, my physicians and my surgeon, they say it is likely that it, it could be from the sodium chloride, however it's not proven. And her attorney would not say how long they've been in talks with General Motors to try to settle this out of court. So for now, they are headed to court in Livingston County. Live in the newsroom, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Jim.